All right, so it is important we have a broader consultation and, of course, uh, get a broader understanding on this whole issue. And joining us via Zoom is the um, Gilbert Yirinchiado, who is a senior manager in tax regulation unit at Deloitte Ghana to help us appreciate all that is happening in relation to these new taxes. Gilbert, grateful you could join me on Business Life. I'm pretty sure you've been monitoring all the commentary on this latest um, development in Parliament and the new taxes which uh, we are seeking to, you know, pass. Now, from where you said, do you think enough sensitization has been done on these new taxes? I think that if you follow the um, conversation that has been going on in the general public, you allude to the fact that uh, that broad consultation has not really drilled down well. And of course, I mean, some industries and some associations are already speaking up and would have appreciated that there, there could have been a broader consultation um, um, for government to see its impact on their cost of production, how it's going to affect their pricing and the overall broader perspective of issues. And I think that um, it has not been forthcoming. And if that has been the case, I think that there could have been common grounds uh, where, I mean, both parties would have reached uh, uh, some form of an agreement and uh, that will help in the smooth implementation of this bill and the impact that uh, in terms of the information flow that it will have on the general public. Because some of these uh, create a certain perception and it also affect investment, you know, because if the local uh, industries are already um, agitating, then what will be the impact on my investment should I even venture into uh, that space? So that's what I have to say. Uh, on that subject matter. Mm. I, I'm wondering why it will be difficult for government to engage, uh, you know, stakeholders in, in relation to that matter. But what do you think is the issue, bearing in mind that, you know, these taxes are part of the uh, prerequisite uh, requirements uh, before we get an IMF deal? Why is it difficult for government to do so? Great. You know, there are already um, challenges within the Ghanaian economy. Some are of the feeling that government should look at other means of mobilizing revenue mm. other than increasing taxes. People have already proposed that government should look at, I mean, cutting down their expenditure and looking at other areas where uh, they can rake in much revenue. So already these, these issues are lingering on. Of course, uh, we need to ensure that the economy is, is back on its track. Uh, so that investor confidence uh, will, will come and people will get the needed investment both locally and, and then outside uh, of our jurisdiction to propel the economy, I mean, to grow. Nevertheless, all that said, you need to also have a balancing scale and look at the impact uh, that these measures, in as much as you seek to uh, raise in revenue, what will be the impact on businesses? And you also have to do a thorough assessment of maybe the existing taxes that are already being uh, implemented. How has it fared and how has it? Yes, you may have generated revenue, but some businesses may have closed. You may have generated revenue. Some people may have lost their jobs. So what is the balancing scale? It's very, very important that you do that. I mean, uh, policy analysis, its impact on the economy, the resulting effect. And then in view of that, whenever you come out with a policy, I think that you may get the needed attention uh, from the Ghanaian business economy. Mm. Gilbert, as we speak, Parliament is on break to come back and, of course, vote on it. Now, I don't know where you said on all of these or how you foresee things happening in Parliament. We certainly also don't know. But do you think these bills can be passed? It could be, I mean, depending on the agency of, 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 of the issue. Um, I mean, this is not the first time we have been to this crossroads. I mean, <laughs> successive government have been to this crossroads and then have been able to push through uh, some uh, sensitive or very important bills. Uh, the only thing is that we have a hanging parliament, so um, maybe the dynamics could be different now, but it all borders on broader consultation and ensuring that uh, parliamentarians be it at, be at the either side, whether as the minority or the majority, there is that broader understanding of the reason why we seek to implement this policy. And if things are not looked in the lens of political lines, 
and but I looked at, at the broader objective that would help the Ghanaian populace. I think that uh, some of these bills uh, could be passed. But the ones that are that are with strings, I mean, there are issues surrounding them, uh, could be hanged because some of these industries could be engaging some of these parliamentary, parliamentarians mm. uh, to ensure that uh, these bills are not, are not made law uh, by virtue of the impact that it could have on their businesses. Mm. You did mention that we could see parliament passing the bill or not. I want to know the consequence of uh, we not having passed the bill. Of course, mean? I mean we can uh, we can draw inference on or from how this e levy fared. You know, mm. government had an expectation and had amply budgeted for the revenue that they were going to raise from the e levy. All these things were in place up until when it got to parliament, and there were these back and forth, and eventually led to some reduced rate and also some thresholds being implemented. Of course, uh, it. It then affected government projection in terms of what I intend to rake in and what I would use what I raked in for. So, of course, I mean, it's going to affect the projections of government and it will definitely have some rippling effect on some sectors of the economy in terms of uh, the needed funds that is needed for economic development. Mm. I'm pretty sure you've seen these three uh, taxes, new taxes they seek to introduce or implement when passed. Now, um, one of such is Growth and Sustainability Amendment Bill. A lot of business operators do have an issue with that. I don't know where you sit with that, but what do you make of that particular bill? I think that uh, my, my lecturer, uh, Senna, <laughs> Uh, I recall, uh, he lectured me uh, when I was in UCC some years ago. He had alluded to he alluded to a very important fact. Mm. I mean, this is not a new tax. Okay. I think that it is coming in another form. Uh, some companies were already uh, paying some banks, some uh, companies providing mining support services, uh, some insurance companies, some communication service providers were already paying these taxes. I think that the 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 the, the the plan now is just rope, roping more people, but then in as much as it is good, it needs to be looked at carefully. It is very important that we, we understand the genesis of this uh, uh, tax. When this was implemented, this set out a timeline okay. where some of these taxes uh, would definitely, having achieved its intended purpose, will come to an end. But we have seen that successive government have what always extended the date of expiration of some of these taxes. And with this provision, I think that they have now even, um, I mean, they have now brought in the tax base. Nobody knows when it's going to end. For those who are already on it, especially the financial service sector, they are already struggling because they, are, they were already paying the NFSL as well as the Financial sector, uh, financial sector uh, recovery levy, mm. making that ten percent, and of course this is going to affect uh, the, the cost of doing business for some because some of these costs they incur, they will find a way of ensuring that they embed it into their service offering in order to make substantial recoveries for profit. So it's very important, in as much as it is good that some entities are coming in, it must be looked at critically. Either than that. Uh, uh, the, ob the objective mm. for setting up these policies in the long term will not be achieved. Indeed, grateful for your time, Gilbert Irinchiado, um, here on Business Life. He is a senior manager with Tax Regulation Unit at Deloitte Ghana, sharing his perspective with us on the new three um, amended or new taxes which will be passed um, some few minutes or hours to come. We are keeping an eye on that um, development and of course we'll keep you posted in our subsequent bulletins. A reminder.